were completely cured. And I think it was a very heroic uh, effort to do that because it took a lot of heat from it. And uh, uh, I'm very proud of how he was able to take control of his life and lick a problem that he had. Mr. Lugosi, you're leaving the State Hospital tomorrow. Yes, I'm very happy I do, on account that I became a, a new man, new lease of life. I'm cured. You're cured. Yes, I'm very grateful to the State uh, Hospital that I, they allowed me and took me when I volunteered. You see, previously I was in a private sanatorium, but they, were, they weren't as strict, so I was, uh, I was afraid it was going to take too long. But now we made a short cut, it was very... How long have you been in the institution, Mr. Three months. Three months. Because 90 days is the state law. Mm -hmm. It's minimum. What did you weigh when you came in, about, or how much underweight were you when you entered the institution? Oh, I was 45 pounds underweight. 45? Yes. Have you put most of that back? Oh, yes, I regained 21 pounds. Mm -hmm. And you feel like your old self again. <laughs> You feel, I feel like a million dollars. You feel like Frankie Lurie really felt, huh? Sure. Yeah. That is best. I'm looking forward to work again. I understand that. I had an assignment uh, playing the star part in uh, The Google Goes West. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, Eddie Woods is going to be the yeah. producer. And and you're going to enter that as soon as you leave there. Surely. Well, that's fine. How did you ever hap happen to be to get on narcotics, let's put it? Oh, I had a very painful ailment. My sciatic nerves uh, bothered me terribly. I suffered very much, so I went to the doctor and he gave me some narcotics to kill the pain. That happened about uh, every week once, and it helped me so much. It put me so much in a good uh, state of feeling that I used it later myself, even if I didn't have pain. Did you ever have any trouble getting it? No, because the doctor prescribed it. I didn't buy it on the black market. But you were able, if you had wished to, you could have bought it on the black market. Well. I could have, but I didn't need it. Yes, it would cost too much money, and so I got it, uh, really, it doesn't co cost me much than uh, more you than You had, uh, uh, excuse me, you had other worries as well as uh, narcotics at one time, this, in the last few years. You had domestic, old domestic? Yes, yes, problems. Uh, domestic problems. Uh, uh, my alcohol, I believe. Alcohol, domestic problem. I have, uh, had a very young wife. She was 30 years younger than I am. Uh -huh. She felt that uh, perhaps she has a right to be happy not to be chained to an old man. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Uh, what so. about your alcoholic situation? Oh, have I, you, uh, I kicked it off three years ago. You have been away from it three years. Yes, I joined Alcoholic Anonymous and I gave it up. I see. Well, you're certainly looking fine. What, uh, what advice, if you had just to say another half a minute on this good telenews uh, era here, what would, you, what would you say to the people who are either on narcotics have been on it, or even would ever consider going to the, their first part. Now, for those who are on it, I would really suggest that they shall go right away and uh, report their volunteer to a state hospital and get cured. Get whatever get cured, whatever yes. state they're in. Yes, whatever state they're in. Or to go, uh, to go to a federal hospital. And for those who are just in danger, I would say they should be very careful, should pray, and should, and shouldn't start it because it's a terrible ordeal to go through a withdrawal. It's the greatest pain in the, in the world. And Dracula was nothing in comparison to that. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you looking so well and the best of success when you're back in the films. I appreciate it. We want to see you yeah. back in your, in your fans. I'm looking forward to seeing my fans again in my next picture. Thank you very much. Thank you.